how do you beat the Russians? <laughs> exactly. This is a competition. It was nothing about science. Yep. It was nothing about developing rockets. It was just national pride, Cold War. We have to do something the Russians can't do. And you would kind of have two fundamental differences, right? As we talked about in the designs, what you can carry, and but also still one goal, and that is dominating space for political and military reasons. So uh, what Kennedy did was said, well, we're not going to beat the Russians soon. They're too far ahead of us. So let's pick a goal like seven or eight years further out. That gives us time to overtake them. And yep. he picked going to the moon as a goal. Yep. Because any nearer term goal was going to, the Russians are going to win. This is far enough away that the Americans could throw their huge amount of money at it. Which they did. <laughs> Absolutely staggering amounts yes. of money. And they built the Saturn V rocket. Uh, which was a, an amazing piece yep. of kit, again, built by the same German rocket engineers. Because yeah, if you look at the, the Redstone rocket versus Saturn V, Saturn V is just a bigger version of that. Of course, making it bigger involved lots of... Yes, it's yes. not just take our scale drawing and multiply by five. That's right. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, they could build this enormous rocket, and it worked, and it got them to the moon. That's right. But already by the time... I, mean, I can remember the first moon landings just about. Yep. Uh, and by this point, people had lost interest. That's right. The panic about the rush beating the Russians was now you know, old news. Exactly. And so what are you going to do? Um, I mean, because even by Apollo 14 with three more missions, interest just plummeted, fell off a cliff. That's right, unless astronauts are going to die or something. Exactly. I mean, Apollo 13 got people interested again. But for the wrong <laughs> reasons. Yes. Uh, so... People and there's also interest. there was a staggering amount of money as well, right? Yeah. So you no know, support, money, what are you going to do? If they'd actually been developing these things for a real desire to explore space, yep. then maybe we would have kept going. That's right. But there was no way they were going to spend that much money on exploring space. It would have been a beat the Russian exercise. Exactly. Uh, and so if you, once you've beaten the Russians, what do you then do? And this is a real problem. But they carefully designed the whole space program so that every key component was built in a marginal constituency. Yes. So if you're Lyndon Johnson and they put mission control in Houston, then uh, that was built to get his, put in Houston to get yes. his vote. Uh, but then you want to keep mission control. You've got to keep things in space. That's right. And, and no one's going to say, oh, yeah, we'll stop now. Don't need any more Americans in space. They got used to Americans in space. That's right. But they didn't want to pay for it. They'd lost interest in it. And so what did they do? Well, they invented the space shuttle, which was supposed to be a reusable space plane that could turn around and launch every week. That's right. Every week and very cheap. But as we saw, none of that happened. No, they, uh, the NASA's budget fell off a cliff. They had less and less money, and they design and they therefore had to skimp on a lot of the design costs. That's right. And so this ended up as it's not really, as we'll talk about later, reusable. Almost every part had to be rebuilt. And it and ex ex exceptionally expensive for what it was per launch. But that wasn't a flaw. Yeah. That was a feature. Yes. I mean, if it's incredibly expensive, that means that you're paying large numbers of salaries for people in marginal Jobs, jobs, jobs. That's right. So if, again, you're the senator for the state which has a big NASA center or a big defense contractor, uh, then you want to keep this thing going, you want to keep spending bucket loads of money. You don't particularly care if you can do it cheaply or efficiently. And that's right. And that was always the interesting thing, right? Uh, bipartisan support is still very strong for NASA because of that winning over a votes in your district. And I'm sure the same thing happened in other countries as space yes. programs. I mean, we know in Australia didn't really have a space program very much, but I'm sure the same thing happens in Russia and China That's right. and uh, the European. Uh, so there was no real pressure to bring the price down because spending money in constituencies was kind of the point. Yep. So what, what you've got this now mega expensive space shuttle. How are you going to keep justifying that when it's so much more expensive than older rockets. I mean, it would have made far more cost-benefit sense to chunk the space shuttle and go back to Saturn V. Exactly, that's right. So they had to come up with something to justify spending all the money in their key states, and that was a space station, which is incredibly expensive. I mean, it, they do do science. Some they of the do. science is good. Yeah, exactly. But if you looked at the price tag in terms of the science you get out of it, it would no... I mean, this, the, with the shuttle launches and the space station, uh, this is more than the moon program by far. So you get the situation where they're spending bucket loads of money just keeping these things going, uh, ever worse things, and that wasn't a problem. That was what they liked. 